How's everybody doing today? We're gonna go over how to use rugs and blueprinting to make some really cool displays and how I do my lighted displays. Um, this guy actually doesn't take a rug at all or a blueprint. You can just shove it up against the, the wall with the, the poster and it works. Um, this can be done using the rug. Um, this is sitting on a shelf and then the rug will fit inside this display. So with rugs, let's say you want to place an item inside of another item, like I'm putting a shelf inside of this display, or I, can, I actually use the safe as well, and you can actually set the safe to actually stick out of the, um, out of the display so you can actually use it as a stash but this allows you to put other things in the displays um, that you might not normally get put in there like uh, like some of these guys or your nuclear winter trophies or any other variable that you want to display in a display case that you can't just put in there you can physically place it in there by setting them on an item and then placing that item into the display and I think I can do another one that's really fun. Um, and then this display, I've been doing this one for a while. And that is actually done without a rug, but I do also do this display with a rug. Um, and I'll show you a couple ways to do that. And then we'll also go over dealing with rugs on placing items in places that it wants to go to the next level or wants to go on the roof and you can do that with rugs or with blueprinting and also another fun thing if you do a lot of camp builds in the same space so let's start with this guy here so this is just literally that's blueprinted in so let's get rid of that and if you want to blueprint an item you take you know you create a blueprint, you hold so to create a blueprint, and then you create a blueprint, the name it, and then you would go to your blueprints, and then you can literally place this item, like I can place this up against the wall, it's a little tricky, because you can't see it as well as with a rug. And we'll place it there. With the rug, a little easier. Like sometimes you can get far enough away and get the right angle where you can actually see what you're doing. You can place this all the way up against the wall and show off the displays inside of the case. I like to go just a little bit beyond the displays where it just shows the guns. I think it looks better. Um, if you have the rug on the front side, then you can always just grab a hold of the rug, move it. I generally actually put the rug on the back side. And then I, that gives me basically a wall buffer. It will only go so far against the wall. And it's a little bit easier dialing in. I actually need to move that a little further back. But there is a fine line of getting it where you can still target the rug. And still place it where you want it. Uh, I think I want to go a little further back. That way I can get a little bit more. I can actually get into the display, or the wall displays. And then just, there's just slightly. But that is how to do that display and like I said you can just shove it all the way up against the edge it does work fine too um, this guy is just sitting here like I can just place it uh, as long as you have the poster at the right height it will just place so, and if you built this display and you need to move it, there must you will need to target that, move that, move your rug, here. replace it back on the rug. Get where you can move it. 
Uh, another thing is you don't want to be like building this in front of you and then you want to place it. Um, you can't see anything. Like it's really hard to see through that at times. So I would say place it not where you're working and then do that. So this is just a a weapons display and then I'll try to do this right. So this is just a wall poster. You can place the poster on top of the weapons. It I've seen the few people do it. I, I prefer it just looking clean like they're in this case. So you want to take your first one. Uh, normally what I do is I'll set the display right beside it so you can get the right height. You take your first one, you put it in place, and you take your second one, you move it up just a little bit. You don't want it all the way, and it's fighting me. What else is new? Uh, you want to move it up just a little bit, because those shelves don't align with these very well. And then you snap the other one to the upper one. And then you can take your, grab your rug. And that is that display. Let's tackle this one. So we will move this out of the way. I will grab this. How could anyone throw away this? And then you can also add lights and stuff to this too. But literally, this since this actually fits within the confines of this display, it will place inside. And how what, what's basically working is most items aren't a full, I don't know, like a cubic foot of space, essentially. It's mostly top and bottom. Whatever would fit in between the floor and the level of the case you can usually place in that space. Um, sometimes it does breach the outside of it and it doesn't want to go. Um, and I will go outside and I will build another example. Um, so we'll do that in just a second. So if you've ever dealt with a bungalow, I will do this in real time so you see what I'm talking about. And you probably know exactly where I'm going with this. But... I think this guy does not like to sit there. Well, oh, oh, that one does. But I know what doesn't. So let's go. At least I know for a fact that this one does not like. Does not like to do what it's supposed to do. You place it down and it just disappears. So you place another one. And it's like, where does it go? You place it and you keep placing it and you're like, I know I placed it. And then you go outside and you're like, oh, they're all on the roof. It's an, it's really annoying. The year of these. <clears throat> there is two ways to combat this. One is with a rug. So we'll place, we'll place us a rug on the ground. Usually this mat is what I use the most. Um... And then you can place this where you want it, and it won't argue with you. The other way is the blueprint method. Um, <coughs> and the blueprint will just place. No fighting, it just works. Um, blueprint's great if you want to just make a million blueprints and do that. I usually make it for the items I'm using. <coughs> Another fun thing you can do with rugs is, let's say... And if you build enough enough rooms, enough houses, and you're rebuilding in the same place, you can actually build everything on a rug. And you can just place rooms. You can just quickly make rooms. And you can move things, move things around. That's probably one of the fastest ways to quickly move and reshape. The other thing that's nice about putting things on some rugs, if you place a use the right distance get it sometimes if you're placing things on a rug and you're placing it on top of another rug you can get it to actually the small rug to sit underneath the big rug so it's a way to hide 
you know, essentially hide the crimes. So that's a pretty cool one. Here's something else that I did a little while back that I thought was pretty fun. And it adds a nice layer of depth to something that you might not think you could do. So let's take this shelf here. And this is going to use the same idea as, um, as I was talking about before with rugs and stacking things within things. You can, as long as you get the right spacing. Let's actually I want to spin that around because I want to hide it. You got to make sure you can actually target the rug. If not, you have to move it around. A little further, further forward. I smell scrap. Well, not. I can actually get to it. Let's just set it off to the side. That way, I know I can squarely target this. So this will actually sit inside the shelf, but we can go way further. Let's just not set them absolutely straight because, as we know, we don't always get everything perfectly straight. And if you do this right, well, you need to move that a little bit further because that's not perfect. And now you can place things on multiple shelves without doing the shelf method, which the shelf method does get a little bit more dialed in if you can get it perfect. But that's a way to add more things to shelves. I don't think I can fit these stash boxes in there sideways. Like it, I don't, I think it's too, like the shelves too narrow to do that. But you can put other things in there. Like if you're using the shorter one, you can do... Uh, let's get over to... That's not going to fit. But as long as it's within the height of the shelf, it'll allow you to place it sometimes if the item's too tall. Like this guy. He is breaching that next shelf, so it will not go. Um, and then there's always the last one. So this is going to be a big bonus. I'm going to put this in the title, so like, even though I didn't cover it in the beginning. Let's say you want... To really play something that doesn't want to be placed. This is my best friend. And I'll probably go and do a bigger video on this guy. You can use the flame turret to destroy something. Uh, this one doesn't want to let me do this now. But I'll show you something that it will work on. My ceilings in here are short. Short ceilings. Right? But if I go outside, I have tall ceilings. So, let's get rid of this all together. And I will show you how to do something that you've probably been fighting with for a while on a, on a roof. Let's just stick up four walls. No, you stay your butt over there. So right now, if you place a roof and you wanted to do the tall ceilings with a low ceiling on the inside, like you can place this here but the roof's not gonna let you like it'll go green but you can't place it right 
Let's do another wall, because then I'll be able to finish this up. And this is how I combat this. Use roof as platform. So we take our handy dandy flame trap. And I'll probably actually do a video dedicated to this, but we will show how this works. The flat does, trap doesn't even need to be attached to anything. Um, get rid of this. So let's do our corner roof. So what you want to do is you want to build your external roof completely. Right? So we're going to do, I'm actually going to do something else that's pretty fun here. So we're going to do this roof here as an angle. I need another wall. We're going to do that angle. And then we're gonna activate our flame trap. And I end up doing it, moving it. And then you can actually take in place the flats underneath it. But I'm not gonna place that one yet. I'm going to place another angle to that direction. And then I'm going to exit out. I'm going to activate that again. And then I'm going to place my flat underneath. I'm going to move you over here. I know this doesn't look like anything when I'm out of the, the menu there. Are you reaching? I don't think it's reaching. I get a little closer. We need to hit that one. I could also build around too. Is there anything better than wrong? Alrighty. So I'm done with this guy. Now I need my flats. And then I can go in here and repair. 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 And then you take your walls, or you can finish your roof. We'll just take the walls here. And that's not going to want to go, but we can work around that. That one will go. We'll grab our handy dandy flamethrower trap. Activate it. Destroy the roof. And now you have the inverted. Oh, well, we can get rid of this. The inverted roof panel that doesn't exist in the game. Do you have the. I don't know what they call this. It's just a roof cap. And I took my platform. It's hard to get back on the roof. And this is how I do that inverted roof piece. It is two angles. And then also inside is all low ceilings. It does cost more budget because you are, um, you are doubling your ceilings up. And in this case, right in this corner, tripling your ceilings up. But the final product project people may not notice it but if it makes you happy it, that's all that matters it makes me happy one last thing you can do is let me go tear down um, these displays in this room because I don't need this
I know you've probably dealt with this guy if you own it. And how if you... I don't know, gonna be a place in this room. Oh, there it is. If you go to build things on it, they don't sit flat. Like, like they actually don't sit on the ground. They sit on top of it. I mean, there is a plane there that it will sit. You can build the items in your room, like your tables, your chairs. Then you take your flamethrower. And then you go repair everything. Or you just go to the you just go to the thing and repair it. Oh, I don't have my UI on, so repair everything. And then now everything in this room is sitting on the floor, and the rug is actually separate, so you can move things out of the way. <laughs> but that's a way if you're fighting with it. It does not work for the bear rug. Unfortunately, the bear rug is a lost cause. But as I was telling you earlier with building rooms on a rug, I can quickly place my room. And I have the room again. But confining things into the rug, then you can quickly move and place rooms. And that covers, for the most part, rugs. Um, rugs and blueprinting items to place in place. And like I said, the blueprinting does work. Um, <clears throat> does work for if something's going to the roof. If, um, like I said, if you're dealing with, let's say you're building an existing structure and you go to place something on the floor and it says it's obstructed or no support, the rug will be a solution or the blueprinting will be a solution to fix that. But uh, definitely thanks, <laughs> thanks if you made it this long. Uh, like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. If you have any questions on how to build things, definitely don't hesitate to put them in the comments. I do stream every single night on uh, Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash Rotomon. I stream every night at 9 p.m. Central. Um, Saturday nights, I I try to really focus on doing a fresh camp build, um, you know, on one of my different characters. Friday nights, I want to do some Fallout 4 content. We'll see, but like I said, I do stream every single night. I want to thank everybody hanging out, and I know this is a long one, but um, hopefully you learn something new, and it helps you figure out problems to to just the normal stuff we deal with in building but i will uh, thank y'all and i will catch you guys next time y'all have a good one